During the first spring and summer at my garden, I was able to confirm just how fertile the soil is since I planted all the seeds directly onto the ground and everything grew tall and green and I was able to enjoy many crops. This year I've decided to dig down my beds two feet deep and to fill the cavities with as much organic mulch as I can. This in order to promote the retention of humidity and to protect the surface moisture from the intense action of hot winds and the intense summer sun typical of California. For this purpose, I'm taking advantage of all the prunings from the trees, which cut into small pieces, make a finer mulch that I can place at the bottom of the beds. This constitutes the first layer of organic material that will act as a shield and retain water. There's also an abundance of green mulch made up of grass and weeds that are being pulled out from my gardens in order to clear them of all the excess growth from the rainy season. My hope is that this mulch will initiate its process of decomposition lying there at the bottom of the beds and provide from the beginning a layer that will help the beds retain more moisture. Because the beds are dug down two feet deep, there's plenty of space to fill them with broken up branches and leaves left by the recent overflow of the waters from the brook. It is alongside with this debris that large quantities of compost from the river can also be found. This is made up of already rotting leaves that come from the mountains. It is important to distribute all the underlying layers in an even fashion so as to avoid uneven beds that may sink later on in different areas. This is especially true of the layers just underneath the soil which will come into contact with the lower part of the roots from the plants. The final stage in the creation of my beds comes when I fill the cavity with soil enriched with composted leaves and loosened by fine sandy lime. I make sure to distribute this soil very well over the underlying layers of mulch. Now we are ready for planting. When planting vegetables it is important to imagine how they will grow, how deep they will grow, how tall they will grow, how much of a shadow they will cast what can grow underneath them, what can grow above them. It is important to envision all this in order not to overcrowd the area when the ensuing greenery comes about. In order to have success germinating seeds in the ground, it's important to keep the soil moist and soft, to keep moisture on the surface for at least two weeks, to be past the danger of any frost, and to have a fairly sunny season that will invite all the young seedlings to come out and enjoy life.